condolences to the family for uh, the mother that passed. Pray for his people now. See, God takes care of his own. Amen? And God's going to take care of it. And I believe that the prayers of the righteous avail much, the Bible says. Je takto by som domnieval, je smerične veľmi správa od ľudí a aj na tábor zamlčené. A lehotáče mňa, lehotáče, 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 lehotá Holy Spirit, teach. Speak to them. Guide them. And use them for your glory. We thank you, Lord, for this life. And we need life. Can we pray for the anointing of the Holy Spirit on her husband? Wisdom that is from above. Released into his mind and spirit. Saturate his soul with your spirit. Creating him a hunger and dependence upon you. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have your Bibles, turn to the book of John, the Mas, Gospel of John, chapter 1. And we're going to start um, in verse 6. Thomas, uh, I'm going to call you Thomas for short. Okay. Thomas, Tom, Tom. Uh, Thomas I'll, I'll, I'll read like uh, so 6 to 9, then you can read. And then I'll, I'll go, we'll kind of go like that. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That light was true. It was a true light, which lights every man that comes into the world. <laughs> ከእግዚአብሔር የተላከ ዮሐንስ የተባለ አንድ ሰው ነበር ሰዎች ሁሉ በእርሱ በኩል እንዲያምኑ ስለ ብርሃን ምስክር ሆኖ ለመቆም ነው ስለ ብርሃን ሊመሰክር መጣኝ ግን እርሱ ራሱ ብርሃን አልነበረ ለሰው ሁሉ ብርሃን ሰጪ ሆኖ እነተኛ ብርሃን ወደ ዓለም እየመጣ ነበር He was in the world this is speaking of Jesus now ስለ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ነው የሚናገረው በዓለም ላይ ነበር ይላል And the world was made by him and the world knew him not. That's a powerful statement. Jesus was in the world. The world was made by him. They didn't know who he In verse 11 it says, he came to his own. And his own received him not. That was the Jewish people. They didn't receive him. But verse 12, that's us now. Are you ready? But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. The sons of God. There are fringe benefits to being a son of God. When Adam was a son of God, he had everything. He was in paradise. And he was the son of God, and God loved him because he was made in his image. And he came from God. He had no mother. He came from God. But Adam sinned, and then we became his offspring. So there was really no true son of God for a long time. 
But when the second Adam came, Jesus, he became the son of God. The last Adam. And as many as believe in him, them gives he power to become the sons of God. This is your benefit. You are a son of God. And when you are a son of God, there are benefits. There is a, a, a grandmother I knew. She goes to my Bible study. Her daughter's house was on fire. And two of the children were left in the house. And there was people standing around and they, and they were looking at the flames coming and grandma went in and she saw and she saw where are the kids at they were still in there. No one went in. Grandma went in there. And she, she grabbed both children. The fire department was already there putting the flames out. And she walked out with the two children in her arms. No stranger standing watching the fire would go inside that house. But the love of a grandmother went in there. The love of God went inside of you. He's rescued you. See, for as many as believe in him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Everybody is a creation, all the people, but not everybody is a son and daughter of God. You'll hear it preached sometimes. We're all children of God. But we're not sons and daughters. But God so loved the world that he came to rescue everybody. We were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but we were born of God. When you are born of God, you're no longer Ethiopian. Somebody say amen. Because now your blood comes from Calvary. So that makes me your brother. <laughs> we are blood brothers and sisters now. Hallelujah. And we were born not of blood of man, nor the will of the flesh, but the will of God. And then in the verse 14, it says, And the word became flesh and dwelt among men. And we beheld his glory, the glory of the begotten Father, full of grace and truth. Full of grace and truth. Do you know what grace means? Faith. He's full of grace. The friend's benefits of you believing in Jesus is that you have the favor of God over your life. Have you prayed before and you felt the presence of God and you walked around mm -hmm. and you walked to your job, you walked to your friend's house, you walked to the shop, shopping center and you felt the peace of God? Have you felt 
ቀሌን ስንወጣ በዙሪያችን የእግዚአብሔር መገኘት ኖሮ ወደ ተለያዩ ቦታዎች ስንሄድ በውስጣችን ፍጹም ሰላም ተሰምጦ በደስታ سنራመድ እንዲህ አይነት ለምምድ አጋጥሞት ያቃል that's the grace of god ያ የእግዚአብሔር ሞገስ ነው it's available to you ለሁላችንም የተሰጠ ነው ይሄ ሞገስ it's available to you ለሁላችንም የተሰጠ ነው ይሄ ሞገስ wonder if i was this, what's your name ma'am gunnet gunnet i brought a check for you today and it's for 10 million dollars <laughs> Hey, that's pretty good, right? Get it? Here it goes. I'll put it in your bank account tomorrow. And do what you will. It's yours. It's a gift. No strings attached. Anybody else want one? All the hands go up and stuff, right? <laughs> if Gannett, Gannett, right? If Gannett puts that in the bank. Yeah, la Gannett bir satichat 10 million bir no. በባንኳን ብቻ አስገባ ተሰጣዋትኝ በኋላ በፍቃደኝነት ተቀብላ ባንኳ ውስጥ ታስቀመጠች በኋላ ከዛ ነው and then she needs some financial help something comes up financially and her husband goes or her friends go oh you have the 10 million dollars yeah yeah i know i'll get it later የሆነ ችግር ቢገጥማት ወይንም የሆነ ሰው ቢጠይቃትና ገንዘብ ቢላት ጓደኛው መጥቶ ያስታውሳታል 10 ሚሊየን ብር በባንክ ውስጥ እኮ አለሽ ሲላት አ አገኘዋለሁ ቀበላዋለሁ get it now ሲጂ እና ወሰጂ አ በኋላ ወስደዋለሽ it's yours ያንቺ ነው how many know where i'm going ወዴት ይሄርኩ እንዳለው ማን ነው የሚያቀው what jesus all the promises of god are yes and amen to them that believe ላመኑት ለተቀበሉት ለእግዚአብሔር የሰጣው ቃል ክዳን በሙሉ የነሱ ነው አሜን በሉ those promises are yours ያ ቃል ኪዳን የናንተ ነው እንደ ዲፖዚት i want you to turn to uh, the book of matthew matthews wengel endinaqalu matthews matthews 11 matthews 12 and we'll go to uh, verse 27 27 ክላስ This is Jesus speaking. Jesus no minnagaro. And I see Jesus everywhere in this church. Bazi sifra bazi. Every one of these pictures have something to do with Jesus. Yandandu yemayacho nezi yemasat glasoch. Whoever designed this church knew what it's all about. Sile Jesus no minnagaro. Yihinin design yadaragu soch yaqutal bedem. Without Jesus Christianity is not there. ካለ ክርስቶስ ክርስቲና ባዶ ነው ትርጉም የለው is just a religion there ሃይማኖት ብቻ ነው ያለው but when you have jesus ኢየሱስ ግን ሲኖር you have a relationship with the almighty creator ሁሉን ከመችል አምላክ ጋር አግንኝነት አለ and he's not just the creator እሱ አምላክ ፈጣሪ ብቻ አይደለም he is abba abbaatum no abba abbaatum no abba abbaatum no he's our abba abbaatachin that relationship that love that strong love ya tilk tilk yihona fikr ya tilk tilk yihona gininnal and listen to what jesus says in verse 27 haya sabat la yesus yetenagero nisna all things are delivered of me of my father no man knows the son but the father neither any man knows the father save the son and whomsoever the son will reveal Do you understand that Jesus and the Holy Spirit reveals God to you when you hunger for him? That's it. ስለሱ سنጠማ እሱን በመንፈልግበት ጊዜ መንፈስ ቅዱስና እግዚአብሔር ክርስቶስን ለኛ ይገልጹልናል. God is hung God moves toward a hungry heart. እግዚአብሔር ወደ ተጠማ እግዚአብሔር ወደ ታላቁ ልብልቦት If you're hungry for God, he will move towards you. ወልእግዚአብሔርን በተራብን መጣን ነው እግዚአብሔር ወደኛ የሚቀርበው There are many people that know much of the word of God but they don't have hungry hearts to God ስለ እግዚአብሔር ቃል ብዙ የሚያቁ ብዙ ሰዎች አሉ ነገር ግን ስለ እግዚአብሔር ስለ ራሱ ጥማት When Jesus came into the world he was in the world and he came to his own and his own received him not The Pharisees of the day rejected Jesus they had nothing to do with Jesus they rejected him 
and they knew all the word. To be a Pharisee, you had to understand the word, but their heart was not for God. Exavier Christos with a middle Benabamir Lai Benabara, but he's over the grass who are going to chum at the Altaka Balutum. Yibal Tunindagmo, I hoodoch, ye hig awach och malatno, hig awach with a blue lamet, tarat, ye meas feligoni timurt, bulu yet a maru mas afton and meaku, and nursun quanas at the Dutal Taka Balutum. When Jesus was born, Christos who went, King Herod went and he talked to the Pharisees, to the religious leaders. And he says, where is the birth of the Christ that I may worship him? Herodus Christos And these religious leaders did not have a heart for God. They had all this information. And they said, well, it says in the book of Micah that he's going to be born in Bethlehem, blah, blah, blah. And they talked to him about to Herod, pointing him toward the baby Jesus where he ended up killing many, many people. Religious leaders, if they don't have a heart for God, they will use the Bible for other purposes. They don't even realize it. Jesus will speak and he says, Come unto me. All you that labor and are heavy laden, you shall find, you will have rest. I will give you rest. And many of us, we labor. We labor, we go to work, we go to school, we come home, we have to, we have to pay our bills, we have to pay our taxes, we have, to, we have to pay the insurance, we have to pay so many things. We labor so much so that we can have a roof over our head. We labor so much so we can feed our families, feed our children, house ourselves, and we labor so much. It's a beautiful country to live in America, but it's very hard to survive anywhere in the world. But I thank God for America. Yes, this week we had Thanksgiving. I thank God for America because we have the opportunity to protect our children, to teach them about God, the freedom to love about God, and the freedom to do what we wish and to teach our children about God. But there's still a heavy burden that we have to carry. <laughs> He says, come unto me and I will give you rest. How many of you like rest? Good rest. In the middle of a storm. When Jesus was in a boat with the disciples and a storm came up, where was Jesus? He was sleeping. He had peace. In the middle of a storm. He wants, he wants to give that to you. Look in verse 20, verse 29, it says, Take my yoke upon you. And learn of me. Jesus said, Take my yoke. A yoke is, is, is the yoke of Jesus. The world gives us a yoke of pressure of work, of responsibilities, of paying taxes, of, of dealing with people's circumstances. And there's, there's a heavy yoke of the world, but Jesus said, exchange it and put my yoke. And he said, learn of me. Everybody say that, learn of me. Taking the yoke upon you is to learn about Jesus and who he is. 
አንበርን ካላሳችን ላይ ማስወገድ ማለት ከክርስቶስ መማርና የሱን ቀንበር መሸከም ማለት ነው in the next the next verse is like it 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 boggles my mind he says learn of me for i am meek and lowly in heart god almighty comes down to our level and calls himself meek and lowly in heart he comes down to this level so he can reach you and i god almighty says come to me and i will give you rest learn of me for i am meek and lowly of heart this is god who created the universes who created the quasars he created everything and he comes down to our level and he says i am meek and lowly i i am not embarrassed for you don't be embarrassed to me tell me your sins tell me your mistakes pour your heart out to me all i want is an honest heart i want a heart that's pure i want a heart a heart that is honest and you come unto me and i am meek and i am lowly i'm not above you i'm not this big strong god i am lowly in heart god almighty says he's lowly in heart what kind of a father is that that is pure love from the creator coming down to our level and telling you that just come and learn of me and what you learn of me is that i am low of heart and my spirit is meek and i'm low in heart and i will give you rest amen ቀንበሬን ተሸከሙ ከኔም ተማሩ እኔ በልቤ የውሃና ትሁት ነው ለነፍሳችሁ እረፍትን ታገኘናል ይህ ታላቅና ገናና የሁሉም ፈጣሪ የሆነ አምላክ ራሱን ከራሳችን ጋር በማመጣጠን ከኛም በታች በመሆን እኔ የውሃ ትሁትን ነው ብሎ ራሱን ከኛ ጋር God almighty says I am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest for your souls. Belibe yawahna tuhutna lenafsachu iraftin taginyalal tawakalna. How? How? Kenem tamaru. Learn from me. Kenem tamaru. Learn from me. Kenem tamaru. Learn his meek and lowly ways. Yesun yawahna yesun tuhutna tamaru. The other morning Friday morning our grandchildren stood at our house we have one that's 3 and one that's 5 the one that's 3 is a fighting brat <laughs> i just hit you a fighting brat right she's everything <clears throat> and you're stubborn just you try to touch her get away from me just you try to caress her and hold her and love her get out of here just really a, a tough little girl <laughs> የልጅ ልጆች እህል አንድ ሶስት አንድ እና አምስት አመት ናቸው አምስት አመቷ በጣም ታዋጊ ነው እና ሲነፋ ሊያቅፎ ሲሉ ከኔ ላይ ወደዛ በመጥላለች her sister is the opposite she's such a lovely so soft so dainty so precious she comes down in the morning a big hug good morning papa ታናሽ ታናሽዋ ደግሞ ከሷ በፍጹም ተቃራኒ የሆነች ናት በጠዋት ትነሳለች ትመጣና እንዴት አደረ Friday morning Friday morning she the little one was screaming ah, my wife is trying to talk sense into her so she went to the to the room and she put her head under a pillow under a pillow እና አንደኛ ታላቋ ማለት ነው አንድ ቀን ትንሿ ኦፊሰር ትንሿ አርብ ለጠዋት ተነስታ ጋራሷን መሬት አድርጋ ተጫውታ አስቸግር ነበር እና ባለቤቱ ልታረዳት ነበር my wife comes downstairs she says i've had it i just let her cry just let her cry ወጭ አተስፋ ቆጣ መጨረሻ ላይ ታልቀስ ብላል so we're downstairs with the other one and we're eating and it's really nice and she's crying loud ይሄንኛ ሲምባል አሰንጠቃ ሌላ ምስላስ እና በርግስቷ ድምጿን ከፍ አድርጋ ነበር መንፈስ ቅዱስ እንዲያለው ቀስ ብሎ ሄደ and then i just reach in and i just and i pat her 
And for like five minutes, I was praying, I love you, Sophie, I love you, Sophie, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, and tears was just falling from my eyes, and it was an experience, and, I, and then I came out of it, and she was smiling, she was smiling, and she kind of broke through, and the Lord showed me, and this scripture, he says, come unto me, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly. Just like I had to get down on my knees to my granddaughter. And reach her with a little pat and say, I love you. I love you. That's what God Almighty does to you and I. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. He will greet you in your very, very hardest times. The grace of God is for everybody. Like I talked about, I gave her a, a check for $10 million. The grace of God will give you favor on your jobs, will give you favor with your neighbors, will give you favor wherever you are at. Wherever you are at. He says, Joseph, I need money, not favor. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Joseph was a slave. Had nothing. But he had the grace of God. And it took him from the prison house to number two in the country. Yes, I was uh, fighting thoughts. Anybody ever fight thoughts? Is anybody honest here? Okay. I've been battling thoughts. And like I said, be honest with God. Just be honest. He's, he's, not, he's meek and lowly. He will help you. So I went up to a prayer, a prayer retreat area up in Santa Cruz, California, run by the, uh, the Korean people. Santa Cruz, the Korean And uh, so they gave me a little cabin. You pay like 20 bucks, and I just fast in a room and bring water and a sleeping bag and pray all day. Then they have like a little sanctuary, and you go to one of their services. And just kind of get away with God for a couple of days. So I went up there because I had a preacher revival down in uh, Louisiana. And I wanted to just prepare my spirit to be right. And these, these thoughts keep coming into my mind. And, and I know that our thoughts can be actions in the spiritual realm in the eyes of God. So I want to be able to control those thoughts. So the Bible says, if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, right? Mm -hmm. So I went to pray about this situation. And so as I went into, I, I went into one of their services. They have no chairs. They sit on the floor. 
ካን ወደ አንዱ አገልግሎታቸው ሄድኩኝ መሬት ነው የሚቀመጠው ምንም አይደለም take off your shoes and go in the church and you just kind of walk in and you just sit on on the floor መሬት ላይ ቁጭ እንላለን as i sat down ቁጭ ብቻ it was like a rock on the floor መሬቱ እንደ ድንጋይ ነውና so i mean oh i put it in my pocket so no one else step on it right yeah. and so continue with the service and we had a good time and then i went back to my cabin and and i'm praying that night and the song came and it was really cold so i put a coat on and i'm just shalaba koto no mashi yaramana koto rabache speaking in tongues is very good by the way so birdinam ikalakala walking back and forth shataraba koto rabashi yaramana koto rabache shi yaramana koto rabache then all of a sudden there was that rock and now በዛ ስፍራ ሄድኩኝና ጸሎቱ ካለቀ በኋላ በዛን መጸለይ ጀመርኩኝ The Holy Spirit told me to to pull out that rock. And so he said to me, where did you find that rock? I said in the church. It was a dialogue. This was a dialogue. ይሄ ከእግዚአብሔር ጋር የሚደረግ ንግግር ነው። ድንጋይ ነበር ከድንጋይ አንዱ ማለት ይችላል እግዚአብሔር መንፈስ እንዲያር። ይሄንን ከየት አነሳው? He says, should it be there? እዛ መሆን ነበርበት What should you do with it there? Kazin ihenen min tadergawal. I said well I took it to throw it out. Ihenen yanasawt lemawarwar lematal na. He says I've answered your prayer. Yanne tsalot ihenu malishal. When those thoughts come into your mind. Nen ihe nezi hasabot wedante bemimatu bet gize. You say it's a rock. Throw it out. Ndinde dingay nacho warwara talacho. And it's been 100%. And 100% good. Malkan go. ሐሳቦችን God is meek and lowly እግዚአብሔር የዋና ቶቶ ከኛ ደረጃ ዝቅ ብሎ ነው እግዚአብሔር የሚኒና ነው የሚያደርገው ትንሽዋን ድንጋይ ተጠቀማትና ህይወታችንን ለመለወጥ ያችን ትንሽ ድንጋይ ተጠቀማት I could not learn that in book of psychology ያንን ከሳይኮሎጂ መጽሐፍ ላይ ላነብ ልማረው አጭሩ God uses the simple things that bring you peace. የዚህን ዓለም ትንሽ ነገር እግዚአብሔር ይጣቀምና ይናገር. ጥበበኞችን ለማሳፈር ታናሽ ነገር በእኛ ደረጃ ነው እግዚአብሔር እኛን የሚያስተምረው። I promise you. ተቃል ጋባላችሁ አለን። He is good. እሱ መልካም አምላክ ነው። All you have to do is have a heart ማድረግ የሚገባችሁ ለኢየሱስ የሚሆን ልብ ኖራችሁ You are here today you already have a heart ለኢየሱስ የሆነ ልብ አላችሁ ምክንያቱም እዚህ አላችሁ You have to just perfect yourself ያንን ማጽዳት አለብን ፍጹም ማረግ አለብን መልሳን መጸለይ አለብን What did Jesus say? Jesus said come unto me ወደ ኔኑ take my yoke upon you and learn of me ከኔን ተማሩ ኔን የዋና ተውት ነኝ Read the scriptures and መጻፋችንና እንደ ከኢየሱስ ምን You are blessed with the man of God በእግዚአብሔር ሰው በተስፋይ ተባርካችሁ of Jesus when you come to church every Sunday በየሁዱ ስትመጡ በመማር እግዚአብሔር እግዚአብሔር ምን ከኔ ተማሩ and glean and glean ከኔ ጋራ ተጣበቁ ተጣበቁ When Ruth went to Boaz ወደ ቦኤዝ በሄደችበት ጊዜ ሩዝ She glean the field you guys know what glean the field is ማማቃረም is that right I, yes yes got it okay well yeah. the first time he gave her ephod just he he dropped like a little ephod right yeah. then Kaza after he started noticing her kaza sitqarem boez esan astawala ayal and he became more interested in her because she was interested in him yebal esan asun bafallegech matan esun esan mafalleg jemar and he dropped six ephod kaza qarmiyawchun metal jemere yebelete betale qur san fellegechu that's how god is to you and i lenina lenante egziaber endezi like like ruth followed after boaz lik boezin in ruth inde teketelechu endeza egziaber miketel learn of jesus karsu minimal and start collecting with him yanin inde mataraqam inde masafsa pretty soon he's going to give you 60 ephods ksand kaza 60 ay sa የበለጠ ከርሱ በተማር ልቅቀል When I learned more of him he learned I learned a lot with a rock. 
ከርሱ ከዛች ትንሽ ድንጋይ ከርሱ ብዙ ተባብ ነው what will be your one የናንተስ ድንጋይ ምን ነው don't copy me የኔን ኮፒ አታርጉ he will give you something special for you ለናንተ የተለየ ልዩ የሆነ ነገር ይሰጣቸዋል all you have to do is ask him with an honest heart በንጹህ ልብ መጠየቅ ብቻ ነው ከናንተ የሚጠበቀው now quickly turn to the book of romans ወደ ሮማን መጽሐፍ የሮሜ መጽሐፍ እናወጣ and we'll start in verse 17. Back to what? Back chapter 5. Romans 5 verse 17. አምስት 17 For if by one man's offense death reign by one. Who was that one man? Ba'and sow metalalef mikniyat mot wedezi. It's in Bible study now. Yeah. Who? Uh, you get two points. <laughs> On this side, what was it? Adam. Okay. So, if by one, it says for if by one man's offense death reign. Ba'and sow hatiyat mot wede alem met much more they which receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one indiu baand baandu yetsq sira lesaw hulu hiyot yemiset tsaga tegeli baandu saw alamet ya baandu yetsq sira lesaw hulu yemiset tsaga we receive the abundance of grace ye yetatrafarafan tsagam yetakabalna you know what abundance means tirf yetatrafarafa malat lot bizu malat lot a lot bizu 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 favor of your life mogas behiyotachin favor of your life behiyotachu lay mogas it's not a little tikit aydellem it's abundant የተትረፈረፈ ሞገስ የተትረፈረፈ ሞገስ and not only favor ሞገስ ብቻ ሳይሆን and the gift of righteousness የእግዚአብሔር የጽድቅን ስራ ይስጦታ ይላል shall reign in life by one jesus christ በአንዱ በክርስቶስ ያ የጽድቅ ስራ በህይወታችን ይገለጣል you will reign with the abundance of grace righteousness of god bagziaber mogesna bagziaber sidq menalalas do you know what the word righteousness means sidq men indahona taqallachu right standing with god kagziaber gara yihona tikikkelenya fitsame malatnu but you receive this righteousness yihenna sidq yeminnqabelo besitota no kagziaber you don't have to do anything menin marega yitabak ማመን ብቻ I gave her a gift of 10 million dollars right I gave her a gift gift ነው ስጦታ ነው ሰጣዋል If she does anything bad give me a tap ምንም ካላደረገች ይቀበላታል God doesn't do that እግዚአብሔር ነው ያለው He gives you the gift of righteousness እግዚአብሔርን ጽድቅ ይሰጠናል And even when you make a mistake ስታት እንኳን በንሳሳት Even when you make that mistake ያንን ስታት እንኳን ስና ስንሃጢያት እንኳን ስንሳራ You just be honest and say Lord forgive me I made a mistake ከእግዚአብሔር ጋራ ኡነት ሆነን ኃጢያትን ጸርቻለሁ ንሳ በመንገባበት ዘመንስ ሰይጣን ያንን ጽድቅ እንደምናጣው እንድናምን ይፈልጋል the prayer of a righteous man avails much የእግዚአብሔር የጻድቅ ሰው ጸሎት እጅግ በሥራው እጅግ ፍስራት አደርጋለሁ you're a righteous man you're a righteous woman not for what you've done it's a gift from god አንቺ ጻድቅ ሰይት ነሽ አንተ ጻድቅ ሰይት ወንድ ነህ ምንም ስላደረክሳሁን ከእግዚአብሔር ዘንድ የተሰጣ ስጦታ ስለሆነ in the old testament you become righteousness by doing the law በአዲስ በብሉይ ክዳን ውስጥ ህግን በመፈጸም ነው ሰው ጽድቅን የሚያገኝ In the New Testament you become righteous by believing the gift. በክርስቶስ so በማመን ነው በአዲስ ክዳን ውስጥ ጽድቅን የምናገኘው። So you can take advantage of that righteous gift today. 
This righteousness is given to you as a gift and you cannot lose it. Yeah, tsidik inde sitota le ya ndandachin yetesatano linnataw skaman chil dras. In the old testament you could lose it. Beh blu ikidanus linnataw nchilalle. The Bible says if you mess or you sin one iota of the law, you break one law, you're guilty of what? All. All of the law. የናንተኖ ያንቺ ነው ያ No one has a Bible here. Anybody have a Bible here? <laughs> this brother got one on his. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Good. Um, look at this later. This is Romans 5:17. Remember what Jesus said? Come unto me. Jesus said, "Tana garo tizila chow wadani nu kani tamaru." Learn of me. Kani tamaru yalo. I will give you rest. Raft sat achwa lo. Meek and lowly in heart. Ba yawah na thut na nyna yalo. Promise you, he will teach. For, for if by one man's offense death reigns love what it says much much more they which receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ የእግዚአብሔር የተተረፈ ተረፈ ጸጋና የጽድቅ ስጦታ የተቀበሉት በአንዱ ሰው በኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ በኩል እንዴት አብልጠው በህይወት አይነግሱም አሜን There are two forces in this one scripture verse 17 በቁጥር 17 ላይ ሁለት ሃይ ሃይ ሃያላን አለ Two forces that control every human being in the earth በመድር ላይ ያለውን የሰው ልጆች ሁሉ የሚቆጣጠሩ ሁለት ኃይሎች The force of death የሞት ኃይል የህይወት ኃይል then death will reign in you or your life will reign in you ህይወት ነው ወይስ ሞት ነው በእናንተ ላይ የሚነግሰው what it's your choice ምርጫው የኛ ነው for example i'll give an example of someone that is reigned by death most of the world is for example you listen to the radio All they do is give reports of death, give reports of robbery, give reports of burglary, give reports of I'll go on and on and on and on and they death is reigning in that system. Misale le satachu ichilale. Zena, zena bemnayebet gize yemiyawaraw selamot no. Andu tawokto mota, andu betemetto mota woynim selesirqot mot yenegesebet system no ya system. But when you it says but the gift who we receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life kegziaber yetetraferefa tsagana yetsidq sitota yehonawun inya yetekabal naw gin hiwot yenegesebet hiwot naw it's your choice mirchaw yenya naw malet naw at the beginning of this of this sermon i opened up and said for as many as received him bars them gave he power to become the sons and daughters of god ihe sibkatein sijamr berso lemiyamnut letekabalutin yegziaber lijoch yihonu zem seytan satachu biye no jemaru he gave you the power to become reigning in life in that new way egziaber sultan satonal behiwot lay hiwot benya lay indinets indinner egziaber mirchan satonal death no one escapes 
You go to the highest mountain. You go to the deepest valley. You go anywhere and you, you can't escape it. But while you're living, praying continually. Because Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. You take his yoke upon you. The yoke of the abundance of grace. The yoke of the gift of righteousness. And you will reign in life. You will reign in life. Even when the negative happens, you're still reigning in life. You're the positive one. You ever been in a conversation with people and you go and you're in an elevator and they said, oh, it's raining today, it's a bad day, this and that. Say, how you doing? Everything is great. Hallelujah. Amen. You're reigning in life. You take this gospel personally. It changes your personality. From being negative. Positive. Negative. Death. Positive. Reigning in life. You ever talk to some friends? Bob, how you doing? <laughs> oh, not too good. <laughs> this is one friend, he was so negative. <laughs> one time they went hunting, and they, they shot some birds, and he has his hunting dog, right? His hunting dog ran so fast, he ran on top of the water and got the birds. And what <laughs> Uh, and his friend asked him, he says, man, your dog, your, your dog ran so fast, he ran even t on top of the water. He <laughs> said, yeah, I know, he didn't even swim today. <laughs> See, that's the thing. We are trained to think negative. But Jesus is the light of the world. Let that light live inside of you. Remember, the abundance of favor is over your life. The righteousness of God is yours. You have a lot to be positive for. A a lot lot to be positive about. Don't let the world pull you down. Don't let the news drag you down. Change your future. And reign in life. Somebody say amen. And There is such a blessing in the abundance of grace. I love when he said, this just touched my heart when, when Jesus said, he quoted, he's speaking as God, he said, come unto me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and I will give you rest. Christos Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried to sleep and your mind was racing and you couldn't sleep? Let me see your hands. You could reign in life and take and just quote the scripture. Amberin Barasela Adrigan, Yanta Reft, was a gem, but a brain in life. But he would, he would, Vanilla Yingas and Bell. For those of you who, who right now, I want everybody to just close your eyes. This is a time of prayer. I feel that the Lord wants to do something here right now. Xavier and no one looking around. Man, so what is that? What is in the Fakadim? 
for those it won't rest Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Namasagna Hallelujah.